We now want to bring in education analyst Janet Muthoni, who has been following uh, these ongoing events. And, and Janet, what do you make of this particular directive of not having uh, finally calling off the strike? Oh, uh, I, I think for me it, it, it's really a welcome move, uh, given the dilemma that everyone had found themselves in, especially the learners and, and the parents. And, and I think we would want the government and everyone to move with speed to ensure that now the term opens and, and, and learning resumes normalcy. This is the longest time we've seen the teachers, uh, teachers strike in the country uh, going up to five weeks. What kind of effect does it have on the education system and uh, the stakeholders involved from the parents to uh, teachers and the students themselves? Yeah, I think it's a wake-up call for, for everyone, and especially government, to just look at how we can we can arrest um, some of these issues. Because, yes, as you rightly say, now we are seeing a teacher strike going to five, uh, you know, five weeks, and, and has not been witnessed before. And of course, you can't underestimate the amount of effect that has on the learners and even on on the parents. And especially, we are looking keenly to see uh, the kind of results that the Kenya National Examination Council is going to be posting. Because definitely, if you're saying that learners can go and taught for five weeks and then the results uh, and the trends resume, I mean, uh, just like the trends for last year, then I think everyone will be saying that there's a credibility problem somewhere or somebody is just manipulating the results to just ensure that they paint a picture as if everything is normal, which is really very dangerous and risky for an education system like ours. Mm -hmm. And Janet, despite this, the government has maintained that the uh, national examinations will continue. Uh, just a few minutes ago, we had the Na Union uh, Secretary General asking NEC to actually postpone or readjust the exam timetable. Do you think it is fair for the candidates should this exam go on? No, several things here are about to be balanced because, yes, we know that uh, it's not going to be fair, especially when, you, when you're looking at it from the learner's perspective, just being able to subject someone to an exam and you've not taught them the content thoroughly, then that's going to be extremely unfair. But then, on the other hand, we must guard against having the education sector held at transform by people, by cartels that want to decide when processes stop and when processes start. And I think all of us should, 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 should for once, just support government in terms of saying that we want a stable education education sector because if you can recall this happens every other year so and, and so many of us can relate to this that every, every other time is an examination period children are abandoned and so on and so forth so we want to have uh, you know permanent solutions or we want to paint a picture as though we can have a stable education sector because remember even taxpayers have threatened government and they've told government we're just unable to continue investing so much in an education sector that is thoroughly run down so i think there's a statement here that must be sent and a very strong statement that government is totally in control of the education sector mm -hmm. and janet finally before i let you go uh the unions have said that they will call off the strike for at least 90 days within this period what would you like to see different uh diff handled differently when it comes to this matter no no i think it's, it's, it's just fair for everyone to be listened to but I think for us, and especially in, in, as Kenyans, remember, we do not have any contract with the teacher unions of this country, but we have got a contract with the president to just ensure that the right to education of the children of Kenya is safeguarded. And therefore, we want to see the state leading a discussion as to what are our priorities in the first place. Because remember, there is no agreement here, and even among the taxpayers, nobody thinks that increasing the salaries of teachers is the optimal use of the resources that we have, given the 80,000 teacher gap that we are staring at, and even given the underinvestment that compromises the quality of education. So moving forward, we just don't want to see haphazard discussions based on blackmail and everything else, but we want to see a sober discussion that will lead this country to investing you know, in the correct places that will unlock the education potential. Thank you very much there, Janet Mudoni, just giving us uh, her take. She is an education specialist and she says that she hopes that within 90 days, the period there, uh, that dialogue and priorities will be top of the agendas of the stakeholders involved within the education sector in the country. Remember, the teacher's strike had just entered its fifth week and it has now been called off by the unions. We now want